Hello everyone and welcome back again. After we collect the lots from the drawing and arrange it to the Excel sheet, here in this picture also we will arrange it to the AutoCAD panel drawing. See here, as you see, this is a drawing in AutoCAD representative the panel port. See here, this is a red, yellow, blue. This is the left side. And also here this is a right side and load description and size of wire and here the size of conduit. I will collect also I will take all the data from the Excel sheet here. I will take all this data and fill it here in my panel drawing. But before and import the lots. Also here I will modify all the panel information. I will start here from the panel name. If you remember FDB Tefant LTG for lighting. And here is the voltage. Suppose it is 400 by for three phase and 230 for single phase and here the main circuit breaker I will calculate it after I'm finished I will write it dash and also the cable here in the next chapter I will give you all the calculation and all the data and information about the cables here the DB size, if you remember, we'll back again. The number of way is 12. That means here the size of DB will be 12. And if you remember the number of spare, also here, if it is here, suppose here 9. 10, 12, here 2, that means here 1 spare, and also here 2, 3, 4. I have 12 way, and I use it, I use 8 from them, that means it remains for 4 spare. The IP protection, we say here, we, if we put it 43 or 23 or so on, the location on the second floor. After that, I will fill here lighting. I make this Y because sometimes we put the panel port on the floor and it give the board to another floor. For example, for the roof equipment, I can take it from the last floor before the roof. Here I will type seven floor. Here see this is a panel schedule for another project. But here I have only lighting. Also, I will copy from here and go to the right side and copy again. I will start to fill the bar values. See here, I will pass to the panel schedule 
and take all my data from the Excel sheet. And here, now I want to. And here is a spare. Also, I will put it in a spare. Also, here I will move to the right side. Here, spare. Here, seven, seven, six. Also, here, one, 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 two. Two six here one zero zero two seven hundred forty forty four and here spare spare we will delete all this and copy the spare for them. Also, I will enter this value, and after I'm back to the next sheet, this value, the total of the left side, one eight nine six two nine two nine six one zero zero two. The right side, total of the red, one zero zero two. Here it was one two one five two zero. Here it was one two two six. And the total was two eight nine eight two four four six. Here two 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 eight. The total was seven. 0.5 kilowatt. If you remember, for the last lecture, what the remain for me now for this panel? Now I require the circuit breaker rating here, the branch circuit breaker, and also the main circuit breaker. And here this calculation. In the next lecture, I will show you. How to make this calculation and determine the circuit breaker rating for the branches and the main circuit breaker?